Everyone has the right to freedom of, of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. The Chinese government has turned this right into a privilege. Its people have to ask government permission to publish their works, their information is censored, and the people who speak out against the government and its policies are arrested. My speech on freedom of speech in China relates to human geography in two ways. It relates to political geography and the power relationships of cultural geography. Ironically, the Communist Political Party of China rose to power and was created thanks to a lack of free speech laws. It's the largest and most significant threat to its power occurred in 1989 in Tiananmen Square. In 1989, students protested in Tiananmen Square and demanded democracy. But after months of peaceful protest, the Chinese army forced them out. No one knows exactly how many people, exactly how many people died in Tiananmen Square, but estimates range from about 250, according to the Chinese government, to 7,000, according to NATO intelligence. To prevent an event like this from ever happening again, the government has made laws to make it illegal to speak out against them and to organize protests. Today, there aren't many large protests like Tiananmen Square that oppose the government. It's typically just a single individual who speaks out. Um, in retaliation, the government tries to crack down on them and send them to jail. They, these crackdowns target pro-democracy writers, bloggers, organizations, and human rights activists. One of the most famous of these is Lo, is a man named Liu Xiaobo, who is a writer and pro-democracy activist. He's written about Tibet, democracy, and freedom of speech. His efforts won him the Nobel Peace Prize in 2010, but unfortunately his efforts also landed him 10 years in jail on charges of subversion of state power. The charge of subversion of state power is typically used to arrest activists, human rights activists. So why is the Communist Party afraid to give their citizens freedom of speech? The incident of Tiananmen Square led the government to believe that if they gave their citizens freedom of speech, then the citizens would revolt against them and they would fall from power. So the government's solution to this problem was that they would remove all ideas of freedom from the minds of their citizens, and they've done this by blocking over 18,000 websites, blocking controversial topics on search engines, and by arresting people who oppose the regime. Unfortunately, there's not much hope for, or there hasn't been much done in recently for this topic. Um, the Beijing Games in 2008 brought some light to the issue, but only small improvements were made in internet censorship. The um, best thing you can do to improve this issue is to raise awareness for their predicament and to help their voices be heard. Most of the problems created by free speech in China are a result of the laws created that are only meant to discourage citizens from gaining any ideas about freedom. As a result, I, I think that China is limiting them, themselves. It's limiting the potential of the citizens by not allowing them to speak all of their ideas and by limiting the information that they receive to create their ideas. In turn, this limits China as a whole. The Nobel Peace Prize winning Liao Xiaobo recognized this, and I'll end with a quote of his. He says, China must rise from a state without freedom of writing into a free nation where each individual can express him or herself freely and write as well as publish without barriers. Then it would mean to elevate the standard of civilizations throughout the world. Thank you.